Welcome everybody, I hope that you're doing fine. In this video, I'm going to share with you a painting demonstration about a landscape with a statue. I'm going to walk you through a three-step process to achieve the final painting. In the first step, we will talk about where this photo comes from, what challenges I spotted in this photo, and how I tweak the photo in order to convey mood and light. The second step is more about the technical parts. It's about the painting demonstration itself, so I will not talk during this demonstration, and uh, I will let you listen to the background music I used to listen when I paint, and then you can feel the same thing as I do. The final step is more about the final painting and uh, how I feel about it. Uh, I will also, at the end of this video, I will also frame with an inner frame the painting so that you can see how it looks when it is completely finished. If it's the first time that you see one of my videos, this channel will help you understand how to transform any landscape photo into watercolor paintings which convey light and mood. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos come out. I took this photo many, many years ago in England, in London to be more precise. It's until recently that I picked this photo and decided to paint it. The challenge here in this photo is to make the statue stand out, but at the same time, it should not overwhelm the painting. So here we are looking for some kind of uh, balance between the background, the foreground and the statue. The second challenge here is about the light and the colors. In terms of colors, we have a um, statue which is cold against the buildings that are warm. We have to find the right contrast between those two. About the light, it's quite bad in this photo, meaning that there are no real shadows and uh, we will have to add them in the final painting. We will have to move the statue backwards in order to give more space to the foreground and we will add also direction lines in order to lead us into the painting. I will also add some shadows in the foreground to convey more light and I will also simplify the foreground because then the focal point will be really the statue itself. Okay, so now that we know what we have to do, let's make some painting and I hope that you will enjoy this uh, demonstration and I will see you after the demonstration to make some comments about the final painting.
For me, what works in this painting is that it conveys the right mood. As you can see in the painting, the transparency of watercolor allows us to feel the warm color at the same time as the cool colors and uh, it adds to to make the painting vibrate. Even though there are not too many details in this painting, we can still read the buildings, the cars, the statue and the shadows quite well and um, this is what is really important. I'm really interested in having your opinion about one thing. Please tell me what emotion do you feel when you see this painting? Does it remind you of some holidays? Does it remind you of some late afternoon? Or do you recall some special events that happened in your life? Please comment below to let me know. Here is now the final painting that I just framed. I always love when I put an inner frame in this painting because I feel that it makes a painting shine even more than before. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you soon and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.